Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So um, today we've got some really exciting news for all the Linux fans out there. Canonical has just released the Ubuntu 25.10 beta, codenamed Questing Quaka. And trust me, this update comes with a lot of changes we're talking about. All right, so first things first. The final release of Ubuntu 25.10 is scheduled for October 9th, 2025. But if you can't wait that long, the beta is already out for public testing. Now, let's dive into what's new. Ubuntu 25.10 is powered by the Linux kernel 6.17, and it ships with the brand new GNOME 49 desktop environment. That alone brings performance improvements, better hardware support, and of course, a fresh polished look. Some big under the hood changes include sudo rs replacing the old sudo implementation, Dracut as the new default initramps tool, Crony as the default timesync client, and even TPM back full disk encryption recovery key. Pretty neat, right? Ubuntu 25.10 also adds NVIDIA Dynamic Boost support, which should improve gaming performance on supported laptops. Now let's talk about apps. Ubuntu Desktop is getting a bit of a shakeup. The default image viewer is now Loop, replacing Eye of GNOME. And the new terminal emulator is called Texas, replacing the classic GNOME terminal. Don't worry though, most of the other default apps stay the same. Another interesting feature is Ubuntu Insights, which replaces Ubuntu Report. Basically, it's a new way of sharing anonymous system metrics with canonicals, mana and... But this time you get way more control and it's completely opt-in. So yeah, no worries about privacy here. For developers, Ubuntu 25.10 comes packed with an updated tool chain, including GCC 15.2, 2 Python 3.13.7, LLVM 20, Rust 1.85, OpenJDK 25, and the latest Mesa 25.2 graphics stack. Lots of fresh goodies for coding and compiling. If you want to try it out, you can grab the Ubuntu 25.10 beta right now from the official site. But remember, this is a pre-release version. So yeah, don't install it on your main machine unless you're okay with running into a few bugs. And for flavor fans, it's available in all the usual spins, Ubuntu Desktop, Server, Cloud, Plus Ed Ubuntu, Kubuntu, Zubuntu, Lubuntu, Ubuntu Studio, Unity, Cinnamon, Budgie, Kylin, and Mate. So yeah, that's a quick look at what's coming in Ubuntu 25.10 Questing Quaka. Honestly, I think the move to Wayland-only sessions and the switch to new default apps are going to spark a lot of discussion. But what do you guys think? Are you excited to try out the beta? Or will you wait for the final release in October? Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, uh, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.